differentiate y is equal to ln of 3x squared over x cubed with respect to x. So y is equal to ln of 3x squared over x cubed. This is type u over v, which means we must use what's known as the quotient rule. So we're going to let u be equal to ln of 3x squared. Remember, if you differentiate ln of a function of x, then it's f dashed of x over f of x. So it's a matter about knowing the rules. So du by dx will be 2 times 3, which is 6x over itself, 3x squared. And that simplifies down to 6 divided by 3, which is 2x divided by x squared, which is 1 over x. So it's 2 over x. Uh, v is equal to x cubed. And the normal rule of differentiation, x to the n, is nx to the n minus 1. So dv by dx is 3x squared. The quotient rule, d dx of uv, is v du by dx minus u dv by dx over v squared. So substituting things in, let's call it the quotient rule. dy by dx will be equal to x cubed, v, times du by dx, which is 2 over x, minus u, which is ln of 3x squared. Notice I'm putting everything into brackets here again. Times dv by dx, which is 3x squared, over v, which is x cubed, and we have to square it, so it's x cubed squared. Write that out again. Right, now it matters to our powers of algebra that x and x cubed will cancel. So the x will go and then we'll be left with x squared. So just going to write that out again. So we've got 2x squared minus 3x squared ln of 3x squared over x to the 6. x cubed squared is x to the 6. What is the uh, common factor in the numerator? Well, it's just the x squared. So that comes out x squared. Left in brackets, 2 minus 3 ln of 3x squared all over x to the 6. Now this x squared and this x to the 6 can cancel. So we get x to the 4th. So we get 2 minus 3 ln of 3x squared over x to the 4th.